how many natural numbers are there which are less than 10 to the power 8 whose sum of digits is equal to 7 so for example 25 is one such number one such number similarly 106 is another such number the sum of the digits needs to be equal to 7 so here 2 plus 5 is 27 here we have 1 plus 0 plus 6 is equal to 7 and so on uh, the condition is that we will we are only looking at numbers which are less than 10 to the power 8 so basically we are looking at all eight digit numbers eight digit or rather at most eight digit numbers at most eight digit numbers so the first clue the first clue is the following that you have to look at the algebraic formulation of these numbers so at most eight digit means there are x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 x8 so there are eight digits like this uh, suppose if it's a two digit number 25 how does that fit into this category well, it's very simple. You can just put the first few numbers as 0 and then put 2 and 5. So instead of thinking about 25, we are thinking about 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 5. So now 25 is also an 8-digit number. So that's the first clue. You have to think of all the numbers as 8-digit uh, numbers. If the number is actually less than 8 digit then put some zeros in front of it to make it 8 digit this will be very useful for our purpose similarly 106 will have five zeros in the front right so that's the first clue think about all the numbers as 8 digit numbers and then make an algebraic formulation of it so Instead of the digits, we put x1 to eight, x7, these eight symbols. So what is the condition now? The condition is we have x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 up to x8. This thing has to be equal to 7. That's the condition that's given, right? The sum of digits needs to be equal to 7. So this sum is 7 sum of the digits can be 0 so xi is allowed to be 0 allowed to be 0 or positive or positive and the each of these things has to be an integer so a positive zero or positive integer and their sum needs to be equal to zero so now the question is this so this is the end of the first clue first clue that how many how many solutions are there of this equation how many non-negative integer solutions non-negative integer solutions are there because each time you get a non-negative integer solution uh, of this equation every time you get that you actually get one such number so for example one non-negative integer solution is x1 is 0 x2 is 0 x3 is 0 x4 is 0, x5 is 0, x6 is 1, x7 is 0, x8 is 6. 
So you can immediately identify that this solution, so this is a solution of this equation, right? This is a solution of this equation. 0, 0, 0, etc. And the last few are 1, 0, 6. This is a solution of this equation, but this is also this number, right? So every solution, every solution of this equation is one such number one such number so if you can find the number of solutions to this equation then you can find the number of uh, such numbers whose sum of digits is equal to 7 and which is uh, less than or equal to 10 to the power 8 so this involves an idea from bijection principle look at the link in the description uh, to find the next clue and um, also find other similar problems this is this one is from ISI entrance but it also came in this problem is from ISI entrance but it came in other tests uh, and Olympiads as well it's a it's a very popular problem actually so link in the description will have the next part of this discussion and uh, keep doing great mathematics.